Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at using slicers to sort our data. Now usually slicers are going to be used for filtering tables and pivot tables, but we're going to use them to sort data today. So if you want to follow along, check out the description below and you can download the file. Otherwise, let's get started. All right, let's take a look at the setup for using a slicer to sort your data. So here we have our source data that we uh, want to sort with our slicer. And then here we're going to set up a small table of values. And here we've got a type column. And you can see that we've got labels here, ascending, descending. And then we've got corresponding values of 1 and minus 1. And these are going to correspond to the inputs that we need to use in our sort function. Now, of course, we're going to turn these values into a table. Let's click on the table button in the insert tab. And our table has headers, so we're going to leave that checked. Press OK, and we've got a table here now of these values. And now because we have a table, we can add a slicer for that table. So we're going to go up to the table design tab for that table. And then select insert slicer. And the slicer we want to use is the label one, so the type and press OK. And that way we're going to get options of ascending and descending in our slicer. Now when I click on that it's going to filter our table and right now you can just see the ascending value there. Let's clear that out. And now what we're going to use is the subtotal function. And you can use options in the subtotal function to work only with visible cells. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So let's use the subtotal function. And the first input for the subtotal function is the type of aggregation that we want to perform. And actually when you head down here to the 100 level ones, those are the ones that are going to work with visible cells. And the one we're going to use is actually the maximum. Let's use that. And then the values we want to aggregate are these right here. And let's press enter. And now when we use our slicer, what you're going to see is that our sort order here is going to change depending on our selection. So here I've got descending selected in my slicer and the sort order that's appearing here is minus one. And that's just because the maximum of the visible values here is just this minus one value. So now what we can do is use our sort function and we're going to sort our data here. And then the sort index is the column that we're going to sort based on. So here I'm just going to hard code for now the value 3. So that's going to sort us on the year column here. And then the next input that we need is the sort order. And we're going to use this value here. And let's press enter. And we get our data back. And it's now sorted by the year. And we can use our slicer here to change that sort order. Now what I'm also going to do is set up an option here to sort by a given column. And I'm just going to go up to the data tab and create a list here. And our list is going to be our column headers. Let's press OK. And now let's say we want to sort by the model column. Let's just amend this formula a little bit. So instead of hard coding 3 here as the sort index, we're going to use the match function. And we're going to look up this value here. And we're going to look up that value in our column headers. And we're going to do an exact match. And press Enter. And you can see that now my data is sorted in the model column in ascending order. And let's click descending order. Now you can see that it's in descending order. Now, of course, when you're setting all this up, you might want to have things on different pages. You can certainly do that. So you could, for example, move this and the table here to a, a separate sheet and hide that sheet and get those out of the way. And that way you only see the option to sort for a certain column and your slicer and the sorted results. So that's how you can use a slicer to sort your data. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.